Hi everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial and in this session we will discuss about how to make use of Firebase authentication with the help of email id and password, right? So in this tutorial we have a basic app which will ask for username, uh, sorry, which will ask for email id and password from the user and once the user provides a valid email id and a password and whenever they click the login button they will be authenticated and they will be navigated to a home page or a dashboard page whatever right and inside that dashboard page we will be having a single button which is the logout button and once the user presses that logout button he or she will be navigated back to the login page and their instance will be deleted from the firebase okay so this is what we will be discussing in this video tutorial and let's just first have a quick demo okay so we have two text form fields over here in the login page right the first is the email id and we just need to provide a email id over here and let me give a sample email id okay and let me give a small password that is a weak password and let's see what it does so it will be showing a firebase auth exception which is the password is too weak okay so let me add some more characters and hope this will al validate our password now so we get a login successful and this is our login that is the dashboard page or a home page okay and as said before we have a logout button over here and whenever i press this logout button our instance will be deleted and will be navigated back to the login page itself and you can toggle between the screens by pressing these two and fourth arrows okay so this is fully conditional with the help of the firebase auth okay and this is what we will be discussing in this video tutorial and without wasting time let's get started with the coding part all right first of all we need to add two packages okay the packages are firebase auth and firebase auth web and always check for the latest version as for the video recording date 3.2 is the latest version okay and after adding these two packages and so basically we will be explaining this demo for the flutter web application and for that we just need to go to the web folder and inside which we have the index.html file right and inside which you just need to provide your firebase credentials right since we are making use of the firebase auth service we are requested to provide the firebase credential of our firebase project so that is whenever you create a project in your firebase console will be provided with their basic firebase credential for that project and you just need to provide those details over here in this index.html file right and after pro providing these informations let's move on to the main.dat file and here in the main.dat file we have a stateless widget class and the home points to the login service method which is available in the authentication class okay let's move on to that class and as I said before this login service method is typically responsible for toggling between the or switching between the login page as well as the home page right and for doing so we'll be making use of the stream builder widget and the stream will be like we'll be making use of the auth state change that is we'll be listening to the state change method that is we'll be listening to the state changes and uh, based on that uh, we'll be rendering the home page or as the login page right and whenever the app is getting loaded for the first time the snapshot will be empty that is it does not contain any data therefore the else statement gets satisfied and ordered with the login page okay whenever the user provides the email and in password and signs up the snapshot data that is the auth state change gets changed and therefore snapshot will be having some data therefore will be navigated to the home page right and similarly for the sign out whenever the user signs out from the app the snapshot data gets empty and therefore will be navigated back to the login page itself right so this login service will be managing the toggling between the pages in our flutter web application right and let's start with the login page itself and inside this login page we got two text form fields okay one for getting the email id and another for getting the password and which is a simple ui so we just build up two text fields and a button okay so inside this button is what we'll be calling the method which is sign up method okay sign up method is actually the method which is returned on in the authentication class and this sign up method will be access accepting the email id and password which we'll get from the text form field okay so let's move on to the sign up method inside the authentication class 
so the second method is the signer method and this method typically is responsible for creating our instance in our firebase console okay and the the process is very simple that is this this whole line is enough to uh, satisfy that is or is enough to create an instance in the firebase console right which is our firebase auth instance dot and make use of the create user with email id and password right this method will be accepting the email and password which we pass from the text form field right and with this help of this method we will be creating an instance in our firebase right whenever you click this login button this method is called and this will in turn will create an instance with the email id provided and generate a user id uh, hexadecimal value in the firebase console which we will be showing shortly okay and we just make use of this inside the try scratch statement and we'll be checking for certain firebase auth exceptions so firebase itself will be providing few exceptions so at the beginning of the video we just saw a big password right so such cases will be handled over here if the if the email id is already existing on say for example you have provided an email id and you are providing the same email id for the second time to sign up and at that case it will manage that and provide you with the error statement uh, that is the account already exist right so this is typically the sign up method right and once the user has signed up signed in they he, he or she will be navigated to the home page okay? and inside the home page we got a single button which in turn press will be called the sign up method same written down in the authentication class and the sign of method is just a single line which will invoke the sign of method of the firebase auth instance right and by doing so our instance will be deleted and but the record will be present in the firebase console just inside the app that is inside the web application alone we will be just navigated back to the login page right so this is typically how you can make use of email id and password to sign up for a flutter web application right well this is a firebase console for that project and inside the authentication tab you got this list of users who have signed up with your flutter web application signed up with the help of a simple email and you can see them getting listed over here in this um, firebase console right and to set up this you just go to the sign in methods and you will be provided with the list of sign in methods like phone number otp email id password multiple things okay and you can just uh, provide or you can just enable the email any password as true that is you can just toggle this button and click on save and by doing so you will be your firebase project is ready to accept or authenticate with the help of email any password right and this is the user list as said before whenever any user signs in they will be listed down in this list view okay you can just uh, delete this uh, data or you can just reset the password uh, by doing if you reset the password a sample email template will be provided to that corresponding email that is to this email uh, email will be sent with the help of a link they can just reset their password you have no way to uh, see their password what they have entered for signing up with your flutter web application okay so this is what the firebase console will be looking like well that's it guys Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do so, consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye.